After taking the train from Venice to Rome, picking up our van and exploring the Italian countryside from Viterbo to Florence, taking in the Tuscan hills and the beach, we are now on the third leg of our Italian adventure, heading to Lucca for a spot of R&R. &R. We're just arriving up to where our Airbnb is, just outside Lucca, and it's so pretty here. It's like a little bit like the Lake District when you arrive in. It's just incredible. I can't, I can't remember what we booked because we booked it so long ago, so it's going to be a total believe how lucky we are. Um, we've been sleeping in the van for over a week now so the thought of sleeping in this place is just eek. I'm so excited. We totally lucked out with our Airbnb so we decided to relax here and admire Tuscany from our own private terrace. Our host gave us a great restaurant recommendation so in the early evening we took a walk around the historic old town, took in the charm and then stuffed our faces with some delicious food. Fit in your boots Henry. Veal overload. <laughs> Morning. Do you prefer this or the van? Oh, I like the van, but it has been nice to have this little villa for a couple of days. Show me the view. Hey, oh, it takes my breath away. <laughs> We're having breakfast on the top of the Tuscan Hills at our Airbnb cottage overlooking the whole of Tuscany. It's so beautiful, I'm never leaving. The time had come to leave Tuscany and head to the Italian Riviera, the Liguria region near La Spezia. We're now in the Cinque Terre, which roughly translates as five areas or five villages. We started off in the village of Vernazza. It's very pretty, but it's really, really busy. There's lots and lots of tourists and boat trips and things. So we've taken um, the stairs up into the hills and we've got this amazing view of the bay behind. And I think now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the train down, we're gonna go and check out a different island, um, Manarola, and see if that's any quieter and maybe have a spot of lunch there. So we've done hiking, we've done touristy stuff, we've had lunch and so now we're just going to go and sunbathe on the rocks and jump in the sea because I think that's the best thing that you can do here in Manarola, in my opinion anyway. back in our trusty van and on the road to Pisa for a quick stop to take that world famous selfie. It's absolutely bonkers. <laughs> we were going to go inside the tower but it's quite expensive, it's 18 euros which is 5 euros more than to go inside the Colosseum so we decided to give it a miss and just have a look from the outside but it's still pretty impressive. Now we are headed off to our penultimate stop which is just a little beachside town just before we get to Rome, just to get our last little bit of the sun and bit of the seaside before we have to go home. We're staying at a campsite in Tarquinia, which is along the beach from Cinque Terre to Rome, and it's really, really pretty tree-lined campsite. It almost looks like it's in the middle of the forest, but the best thing about it is it is right opposite the beach. time on this road trip I really do think that getting out on the road and traveling around is the best way to see the country you get to do a city break with a beach holiday a bit of camping and a bit of culture all in one neat and tidy package and it's also a really budget friendly way to see the country too I had some misconceptions before coming here that Italy was going to be really really expensive but I found out that if you eat at the right places and if you you know, get a camper van and do it this way and maybe break it up with a couple of hotel stays or Airbnb, you can actually do a two week holiday on a good budget. The van has really exceeded my expectations. It's not much to look at, and, but it's actually very spacious inside and um, it's pretty comfortable. I have to say, um, if you are on a budget trip and you want to travel around, then this van is a great way to do it. And there's only one thing left for me to say now and that is Arrivederci. 
I'm sorry about my pronunciation on this trip. My Italian has not improved at all. I'll have to work on that for next time. But if you do a trip like this and you're gonna do a road trip anywhere in Europe, please comment below and tell me what you did and whether you enjoyed it as much as me because I can't wait to come back and do this again. This trip has been fantastic. A double, triple thumbs up, passport stamp from me. Bye!